Hi, I'm Cameron and I do magic. My primary focus is card tricks. I like them the best. The, the card trick I'm doing today is one I really like because the audience gets involved but not directly. They don't actually have to pick any cards. It really impresses people because of how visual it is. It's called the stand-up Monty and it can be done just standing up anywhere really as long as you have some little flat surface to be done on. And it's a fairly simple trick. There's not too much handwork. Fairly basic but it's very powerful. This trick is a Monty trick that involves a four, an ace, and another four. The ace is the Monty card in Monty. You want to follow the money card around. Okay, so we have the back of the ace, the four, and this four. We're gonna stick the one four right there. We're gonna stick the ace right there. Okay, with just a snap and a snap, they instantly are switched. Okay, so now we're just going to do the same thing again. I want you to just follow the ace, okay? So we put the one four there and the ace right there. Snap, and they switch places again. Now I'm going to take the ace back with me and I'm left with the two fours. Exactly. Just give it a shake, snap, the ace pops back leaving the four in my pocket. Now, with the three cards, so we're just gonna take that last ace, flip it over in the middle, snap, and it changes to a four. Thus being, the ace is now in my pocket. Now, I'm gonna leave the ace there, take the four back in my pocket, still have the ace, and we're gonna flip the middle four this time, snap, and it changes to an ace. Okay, so we left ace, four, and an ace. Flip that last four down. Snap. What does it change to? An ace. So we're left with three aces. Thank you. This is the explanation for the stand-up Monty. Now what you will need are two regular cards of opposite suits. So you want a red card and a black card. They can be any numbers. They can be four and a queen, whatever. And then you need two double face cards of the same card. So you need, they're both gonna have the ace and the four that we're using. Now you can get, you can buy this trick online that it'll come with the two double face cards and the two regular, or you can just buy a uh, double face deck because each double face deck comes with two of these cards in it. So either way. Now to do the trick you want your setup is the two double face cards with the fours up top facing up and then your two regular cards facing down. Okay. Now I'm going to pretend that this corner is my pocket for explanation purposes. So you bring out your first card. It can be the ace or four. It doesn't really matter. You just say you're going to use two cards, an ace, and a four, and you say the ace is your money card, and you're gonna use one more card, which is another four. So you wanna have it this set up, you wanna have the double in between the two regular cards, like that, and you, this is how you show all the backs. You do a turnover move, so you show the regular back of the ace, and then you pick up both together and flip the cards over, but as you do that, you wanna switch their positions from here to here. So if you do it fluid, it looks like to the eye, the ace is still in the same spot and the four is flipped over, even though this is really the ace. So you say you flip over your four and then you show the back of the other four. So you place the one four down on the table and you do the turnover move again, placing what they think is the ace down. You do your magic, blah, 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 and now they switch spots. So we're gonna do the same exact thing again, putting the ace on top double card in the middle and you say you're going to do it a little bit slower for them and this time you don't have to show the backs of the cards you just place the four there 
You want the ace on the bottom again. You always want to keep doing little maneuvers to say that there's only two cards so they know you don't have a third card. Do the turnover move, and what they think is ace is now placed there. Same thing, magic. They switch places again. Now their minds are blown at this point. Now the next thing you do is say, I'm going to make it easier on you. I'm going to take the ace, stick it back in my pocket, and you make sure when you put it in your pocket that you put it under the other double face card because the next card you need to get out is this one. So you just take the ace, put it away, so you're left with the two fours. Now you want the ace, the regular four on the bottom. And now you're going to do a frustration count to make them confused and think that both cards have regular backs. So you just show the back card, peel off the top card, flip it like that. So they think you showed the backs of both cards when in reality you didn't. You just say you're going to give it a little shake again and flip it over. No need for the turns or anything, just flip it over and it'll, they'll see the ace came back in the four. So you reach into your pocket and you peel out the other double face card, the other four, and say yes, the four jumped back into my pocket. Now you take that four, stick it on the bottom, put the ace in the middle and the regular four on top. You always want to have the regular card on the top. You flip, you do the turnover move and flip over the ace, which is really the four. So now your trick is done. You say yes, the ace did go back into my pocket. You bring it out, stick it on top, do another turnover move, saying you're going to leave the ace. You really do leave the ace there because with the turnover, it's on the bottom. And right there, they're going to think you tricked them and stuff, but you really didn't. And then you reveal the real ace. That's just an added little bonus. And you next, you want to flip over this four by doing the turnover move. You can do snap. I like to snap like this. You can wave, do whatever, and then peel out the card, showing it is now an ace. Doing the last turnover move, flipping over the last four, snap, and it's now an ace, showing that. So you want to keep that ace on the bottom, the only real card in the pack now. Keep it on the bottom, and you want to do another frustration count, showing all three backs of the cards. And then I like to throw them down on the table to show that there actually is only three cards and you're not holding two. And that's how you do the stand-up Monty. So this is just a quick okay. Summary. Hi, I'm Cameron and I'm a magician. <laughs> David Blaine's a pretty good magician. I need someone, can someone like stand right there so I can look at them? See, like I practice a lot. My family got sick of me showing them tricks. Like some days I would just sit in my room and be a hermit and practice all day long. Not really. <laughs> But now, now coming to college, I have a whole, new, a whole new audience that I can show them tricks. A lot more people to show tricks to. I like to show tricks because when I show tricks, I'm showing lots of tricks. And people love when I show tricks to them. And it's good to show, show tricks. And that got me back into it. So <laughs> I'm pretty fucking magical. I, <laughs> I can just like float it without even thinking. Like, like, oh, oh fuck, I'm floating something right now. I didn't even realize, like, that's how good I am. <laughs> Oops, sorry, the invisible string was in my mouth. <laughs> Chris Angel was very cool. He blew my mind, and I did magic all day long. I learned stuff, and it was fun, and I love it, and I'm the best at magic because I can float, shit, see? <laughs> I don't know that stuff. Of it. That's dumb. I recommend, 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 I recommend, I recommend Penguin Magic to anyone. So if you want to see me float, come to 701 in Shannon Hall and I'll blow your mother mind with my magic. <laughs>